Okay, welcome America, welcome Justin Bieber. All the seniors are not with us today because it's seniors last day, but they did come to visit me and maybe they'll be back before the end of our video. Um, we are gonna do two problems today, sequences and series. Actually, I think these are both sequence problems so we're about to find out. And um, what else do I need to tell you? I guess that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the worksheet that I will be attaching. And we're gonna do, uh, the first one we're gonna do is problem number 13. So let's start. Oh, I know what I can tell you. Zyra brought me this hat. She's been telling me for months that she's gonna bring me a Wegmans hat. And then her last day in her cap and gown, she brought me a Wegmans hat and it's amazing. Okay. Starting with number 13, find the nth term of the arithmetic sequence given two terms. So we've done a couple problems up till now where we, we've got these formulas and they're giving us different information and so we're, gonna, we're solving for different things depending on the information that we're given. So this is just a different type of problem with different information. So they're giving us the eighth term and the 27th term and asking us to find the nth term. So we need the general solution. So let's go ahead and using the formula which let me, I should probably back up and show that for the video. Here we go. The nth term is the first term plus the difference times n minus one. We don't have the first term. And so we're gonna have to manipulate this a little bit. So let's see, what do we know? The first piece of information they gave us is we need to find A1 and D. So I can write two equations and solve uh, basically a system of equations. So we know that 97, let me write these first and then we'll talk about them. The 27th term is a sub one plus, and the difference here, this is 26, because we're on the 27th, or 27th term, times the difference, which we still don't know. We don't know that yet. We also know that 21, is the following formula is a sub one plus, and this is the eighth term, so we know that's been, the difference has been added seven times. So far, that's all we know. The 27th term is 97. So 97 equals a sub one plus the difference times n minus one, which is 26. And here, when a is, why is this not working? It's probably the hat. When a is eight, n minus one, which is seven, being multiplied by the D. We still don't know a sub 1 and that's how we got these two formulas. So we need a sub 1 and if you guys remember from algebra 1, can I write on this? I don't know, this is not going to be ideal but if I solve this system of equations and multiply through one of these equations by a negative, then the a sub 1's when I add them will cancel. Do you guys remember that? It's been a while. I got no, just America and Justin Bieber. Not one person said yes. Everyone's just staring at me. Nobody wants to be here, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply this second equation through by a negative. Okay, and these are gonna cancel when I add them together. So let's see, make sure I have the numbers right. This is 97 minus 21, so that's 76. This stylus works pretty well here. This is from my uh, computer. Equals, and then this is uh, 26D minus 70 for a total of 19 Ds. Well, now we just have one variable and we can solve for it. So we, now we have D. D equals four. We're halfway there. We need D and we need a sub one, the first term. 
Well, now that we have D, we can pick whichever formula we want, and I'll just pick the second one in a different color. So 21, oh, 21 equals a sub one, which we don't know, plus, and I chose 21, which is the eighth term, so n minus one is seven, times the difference, which we just found is four. Now we have an equation with only one unknown, and we can solve for it. So we end up getting, um, when you solve this, you get a sub one equals negative seven. Now we can write the general form of the equation, which I'll just write over here um, in a different color. So that's a sub n equals a sub one, which is negative seven, plus the difference, which we found is four, times n minus one, right? Now we can just simplify that. So that's a sub n <coughs> equals negative seven plus four n minus four. And then we just combine the negative seven and the negative four for a total of negative 11, and that's plus four n. There we go. So we had to do a little bit of work to get it. We had to, we had to not only did we have to find a sub one, we had to also find the difference. It's nice when they give you one of those because you don't have to solve for both of them. Questions? I know I'm gonna have to wait a second because the, the, the only issue that I found so far with this board is when I write on it, I have to use this, the annotation, which is fine, but then I can't scroll with it. I can scroll if I write on my screen, but I can't scroll with that. So is everyone done writing that down? This is a Kirkland protein bar. They're not very tasty, but they're cheap. All right, the last problem I wanted to do was 17. All right, this is a summation problem. Let me go back, show you the formula. So, I know this has a lot of writing on it, and this is from the, um, oh no, where it is, there we go from the video that I made that hopefully you watched last night. The sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence we can be found by using the following formula. Yes, you can do it with calculators as well, but we're learning how to do it with the formulas. So S of n equals n over 2 times the first term plus the last term. So we need to find Basically what's gonna happen is they'll give us different pieces of information and we'll have to do, the unknown will always be in a different place. So depending on what information we have, we might have to do a little different manipulation to get the information that we need. So, number 17 is asking us to find S sub 12 if a sub n equals 2n minus 1. All right, so in order to write this formula, we need a sub 1. If I go ahead and plug in 1, 2 times 1 minus 1, I'm going to get 1. So a sub 1 is 1. Is everybody okay with that? If I plug in 1 here, 2 times 1 minus 1, that's going to be 1. I also need the last term, which is a sub 12. So if I plug in 12 here for n, 2 times 12 minus 1, that will give us the 12th term, which is 23. And that should be all the information that we need, because then we can say the sum of those 12 terms is equal to 12 divided by 2, because it's n divided by 2, and n is 12, times the first term plus the 12th term, which is 1 plus 23. So that's just 24. And then I would probably just simplify this. We're not using a calculator, so two goes into two. Well, you can make that a six. We could do that. And we get 144. So 144 is the sum of the 12 terms. So it's nice to have these formulas because that way, 
I mean, you could be you could be adding a hundred numbers. We don't want to add. We don't want to figure out what each of those terms are and then add a hundred numbers. It's a lot of work, which is why we use the formulas. Um, these are the formulas that I had to use in college because we didn't have the calculator. Yes, the calculator will do it for you, but it's nice to also know how to do this with the uh, formulas. Good. All right, that's it.